All right, so it's the third try to get this live video to get started, but that is the fun and adventure of a live video. So come on in to your yoga practice place, uh, wherever in your house you find yourself today. And I'm so glad uh, that you're joining me here on Facebook, either live or you found it later, and that is totally fine. I'm Audra Monk, and I teach at Mountain Spirit Yoga in Middletown, Maryland. And on Mondays, we do a Monday morning, or we, I do a Monday morning yoga minute video, and they're usually between five and 15 minutes long. But today, um, since our studio is closed for the week, we're closed the last week of the summer, just gives everybody a break. We get things clean, um, you know, take care of business. So we're going to do a little bit longer practice today. It'll be about 20 minutes, you know, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. We'll see what happens. So come on to your mat. Um, definitely, I would suggest a mat today. You know, you could probably do most of it on the floor, and that would be all right. Um, but come on to your mat and come on to your feet. Find uh, Tadasana for a moment. So feel the inner edge of the foot and the outer edge of the foot. Good. Lift up the toes and give them a little wiggle. So we want to take a moment just to stand today. So press into those feet and let the thighs be strong and the belly pull in. Roll your shoulders down and back and you're as tall as you can be for right now. Good. Pausing here. Let the arms relax at your sides. Tuck your chin. Let the top of the head reach toward the ceiling. Maybe even close your eyes for a moment. Bring the focus to your breath. If it's comfortable, breathe in and out through the nose. Otherwise, breathe however it is best for you. We're going to add a little bit of movement to that breath. So turn your palms out. All right. And when you inhale, spread your fingers. And then when you exhale, soften the hands. And let's do that again. Inhale, spread the fingers. And exhale, soften. Inhale, spread, and exhale, soften. All right, add your arms all the way up. So when you're ready, inhale, bring both arms up forward, and exhale and float them down. And two more. Inhale, bring them up forward, belly pulls in gently, shoulders down and back. Exhale, float them down. And once more, inhale up, maybe look up this time. And exhale and bring them down. And then give those shoulders a little roll. Roll one and roll the other. Roll one forward, roll the other forward. Good. Take your arms forward, back of the hands together. And kind of like you're in the swimming pool, right? It's the end of the summer. Imagine you're getting a beautiful swim in. Take the arms out. Turn the palms again. Take the arms together. Like we're pushing the water forward and we're pushing the water backward. Good. And one more time. So today is going to be brought to you by the number three, maybe. And then push it forward. And then bring those hands to your heart. Tuck your chin just a little. And take a moment to just honor the absolutely wonderful person that you are. One more breath here. Good. And then push those hands in together. Take them up and over and out and around. And then let your hands find each other behind you. And then reach your knuckles towards your heel, dropping the shoulders down, tucking the chin, belly pulls in. Good. So we're stretching across the chest. Awesome. And then let it go. All right. So somewhere in the middle of your mat is fine. I'm just going to turn the side on because we're going to be making our way to the floor. So again, finding those feet nice and settled in your tadasana. Roll your shoulders down and back. All right, we're going to bring the hand to the hip crease. So in a forward fold, this is where we should fold forward from. It's not from the low back. We want to keep our low backs happy. That's what the magic of our yoga is, right? So roll your shoulders down and back. Bend at the knees. Take the hips way to the back, deep in this hip crease. Deep and deep and deep and until you can get your hands or your elbows to your thighs. And then pause. Good. And I forgot to mention this. This is a great practice um, post-workout. So if you run or you bike or you do kickboxing or whatever it is, this is a very great practice to slow things down and really give everything time to stretch. All right, if it's comfortable, let the head hang. If it's comfortable, if you have blocks, you may want to put your hands on the block. If you can reach the floor, put your hands on the floor, but keep those knees bent, keep the low back neutral and happy, and let yourself breathe here. Hamstrings, I did a, I have a stationary bike at home, so 
I wrote that this morning. So my hamstrings are like, woo, they're feeling this. So whether you feel it a little or a lot or somewhere in the middle, that is totally fine. Good. Shake out your head, yes and no. And then very carefully make your way down to hands and knees. So you can put your hands on the floor as you're ready. Bring one or two knees down and swing those legs to one side or the other. We're gonna come all the way down to our backs. So if you've practiced with me on video or in class, I am the biggest, hugest fan of knee to chest. We're gonna get there in just a moment. So first though, find this earth. So you know, maybe you just woke up or maybe you've done a lot of stuff. You got the kids off to school, you took your dog for a walk, you exercised, you did the dishes, the laundry, whatever it is. So whether you're starting at zero or starting at 100, give yourself a moment for a 10 second Shavasana. Breathe, breathe in and breathe out. Two more times, breathe in and breathe out. And once more, breathe in and breathe out. Good. And then nice and easy, bend up both knees. Bend one knee and then the other. Good. All right. Rock the knees a little. Find the hips comfortable on the floor. All right. And then when you're ready, pull one knee in. Either one you want. And hold on to the knee or hold behind the thigh. Aha. Hello, puppy. And this is my good friend, Lissa. She likes to practice yoga, too. Yeah but maybe not right on my face. Yeah, maybe you slide down a little and lay down somewhere. Good, so we're gonna pull this knee in and then we're gonna take it in and out. So when you're ready, on your inhale, belly pulls in, knee goes away. Exhale, hug it back in. Good, let that repeat. Inhale, knee away. Exhale, hug it in. And once more, inhale, knee away. Exhale, hug it in. Good. And then circle your ankle a little. Mm -hmm. Circle it one way. And then circle it the other way. And then wiggle those toes. All right, let's switch sides. All right, hug it in, either holding behind the thigh or on the knee. Double check your hips are comfortable. All right, and then when you're ready, we're just doing threes. On your inhale, belly pulls in, knee goes away. Exhale, hug it in. And we repeat, knee away and knee back in. And once more. And then pull it in. Now let's take care of the foot. So circle the ankle one way and circle the ankle the other way and then give a little wiggle to the toes Good. and gently relax and set this foot on the floor. All right, you ready? Let's go to hug them in. All right, and I'm going to add on stuff here and you're going to pick and choose. If you need to be really gentle, stay towards the beginning. If you're up for more, then of course do more. All right, so starting again, nice and small. Inhale, belly pulls in, take the knees away. Exhale, hug them in. Good. And we have three. You could, of course, do more. <laughs> so we have a little fluffy dog problem here. All right, next, if you'd like, slide your elbows down. Inhale, take both legs towards straight, and then bring them back in. Here, take it over there. Go on. Open and close. All right, so maybe you just open and close the legs. Maybe you find out it's better to do one and then do the other. Or maybe you decide to add on and you inhale and you take the arms up and overhead and the feet up and then exhale, you bring it down. So we wanna build energy here. So we're opening, maybe open the arms and legs wide, space permitting, yeah? And we're building, we're gonna do more than three of these so you can explore, maybe you think opposites and you reach them more away on one side or the other. Good, and we're moving them. Oh, over there, look, over there, look, by the couch. <laughs> she missed the throw. Good, and do two more. Ah, good, now she found it. So all is well in my yoga dog world. Oh, and then hug it in. Good. All right, so last up here on the floor is bridge pose. We're gonna put the feet down about hip distance. We do want the heel somewhat close to the glutes. So when we lift the hips, the knees hopefully stay over the ankles.
tuck your triceps in next to you. Mm -hmm. If you had a blanket under your head, move that out of the way. All right, when you're ready, belly pulls in. Imagine you're bringing your hip points closer together. And as you're ready, inhale, lift, and exhale and lower. This is gonna be the most fun yoga practice today. But you know what, this is real life. Maybe your yoga is like this, and that is so totally fine. Maybe you've got little kids there, or the phone is ringing, or you know your dog is barking, whatever it is. We have to find our inner zen, our place, and we just have to enjoy it. Okay, two more. I think there were supposed to be three, but I obviously chatted through those. And the last one, let's hold. Let's hold, so we're building energy. The glutes are firm, the belly's in, the heart is open, and we're breathing here. Maybe bring those hands down and press the arms into the floor. Good. Roll or lower with a neutral back, either one, gently down to the earth. And gently release the feet, release the arms, and pause. All right, carefully roll to one side or the other. Yep, roll on over to your side. And then push yourself up to a seat. We are gonna sit for a moment together. So you might want a towel or a blanket. I've got like, you know those little blankets you put on your couch so when you're watching TV at night? I've got one of those and I'm gonna sit my hips on that. And we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. And you're gonna let your knees do what your knees are gonna do. My knees are up pretty high today because I just did that bike ride. Well, I did at seven, but, um, I need to stretch that and I gotta give it time. All right, so you know, when we have a shorter practice, we don't have as much time as you know, maybe you would like. So press pause and keep sitting. Good. I'm gonna give it time here. I'm letting those knees go wide. I'm kind of listening into my hips. I'm seeing what's happening. Maybe I'm gonna bring my hands behind and lean back a little. Yeah, or maybe I'm gonna take my fingertips and press my body forward a little. Yep, lots of different choices. Let's take three more breaths here together. All right, and then I'm gonna help those knees together and I'm gonna carefully come to hands and knees. You might wanna take that towel or blanket and put it under the knees. All right, so maybe that's something you wanna do. So you would spread it out, make sure there's no wrinkles under your knees and then bring those knees there. Give yourself a moment. They need to be about hip distance apart. Mm -hmm. And then we want the hands right under the shoulders, fingers spread wide, belly in. Because you know, when there's a mini practice, sometimes there's no down dog and sometimes there is down dog. But today, in honor of the dog, we're gonna take a little down dog, we're gonna play. But first, we need some child's pose. So when you're ready, exhale, slide the hips back, bend the elbows, bring the head down. Inhale, come on up. Let that repeat. One more time, so we're back to our threes. Good. Slide the hands forward, spread the fingers wide. If downward facing dog is not in your practice today, feel free to stay here. Feel free to make up something different. It's totally up to you. All right, when you're ready, shift the weight, tuck the toes, lift the knees and slide everything back. We're gonna walk our dog. So press one heel deeper as you bend the knee, and then the other. Okay, so as we walk our dog though, we're gonna think shoulders down and back, belly pulling in gently, hips going high towards the ceiling and the wall behind us. Good, and we're breathing here. All right, and then we're gonna settle into those heels. And it's okay if our heels don't touch, it's also okay to bend our knees here. We're gonna find the place of joy in our down dog. So like your dog just woke up from a nap, and they need a stretch. And then we're gonna come forward to plank. You might need to bring the toes back a little bit. Good, and let's do that three times. So maybe leave your feet where they are. When you're ready, you can bend your knees. Slide back, down dog. Inhale, forward plank. And you can put your knees down. Slide back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. And one more time, downward facing dog. Forward to plank. Pause here, strong in the arms, yep. Strong in the legs, strong in the belly. Strong in the heart, in a good way. All right, downward facing dog. Maybe adjust the feet as comfortable for you. 
and then bending those knees and walking those hands and feet together. Take your time. I'm gonna move my blanket out of the way. Bend those knees a lot, hands to the thighs, roll the shoulders down the back, lift and stand tall. Very good, all right. Shake it out a little bit. Fix your clothes if you need to. All right, let me check our time. Oh, we're doing good. We got just a few more minutes. So roll your shoulders a little bit, shake them out. So for our standing pose in this mini practice, we are going to play with tree pose. Okay, so just a little tree, and that is actually the point, just a little tree. So not your big, giant, strong tree, your small little sapling working on growth. So pick a foot, any foot you want, and let that be a grounded foot. Let the roots grow. Open the opposite knee, and when you shift the weight, try not to shift too much in the hip. Try to keep that hip in. Open the foot, good, open the knee. Keep the toe on the floor or the toe on the ankle. Good. This is for ankle strength and for balance and for keeping things growing and working. Keep your hands below your shoulders. So you could do hands at the heart. You could do hands just relaxed on the legs. You could do arms out to the side or somewhere in between there. If you need hands on a chair or a wall, please stop for a moment, move over and do that. All right, so shoulders down and back. Tuck the chin, look at your focal point. So maybe it's on the floor or the wall. Good. Feel the weight shift, feel the work happen. One more breath here. All right, release gently. Find the roots in the other foot. Feel the foot grow into the earth. Open the knee, yep, find the place. You can leave your toe down if you need to. Check that this hip doesn't slide out, keep it under you. Or put the toes on the ankle. There we go. Finding your place, arms again below the shoulders, out, down, or at the heart. I'm gonna go at the heart again. Tuck the chin, look to the floor or the wall for your dristy, your focal point. Good, breathing there. Nice and steady. Letting your sapling Move in the wind, letting your sapling adjust to the amount of light. You know, it's softer when it's darker. It's stronger when the sun is out. If it's raining where you are, you know, your sapling's doing its job. One more breath here. And then gently we release. Put that foot on the floor. All right, so the feet are nice and steady and even. Good, shoulders are down and back. We're gonna inhale, the arms rise, maybe look up. On our exhale, we bend at the knees, remember that hinge from the beginning. Arms go out, hinge the hips way to the back. Yep, and then either hands to the thighs, elbows to the thighs, hands to the block, hands to the floor. If the head can hang, let it hang. So a nice bent knee, a very safe forward fold, keeping that low back happy and protected. Right, very carefully because you know a mini practice we gotta come full circle we need a teeny tiny shavasana so take your time and come on down bring those legs down good from hands and knees we're gonna take just a moment here um, you could add your blanket or not we're only gonna be here just a moment spread the fingers all right so if your spine is if you're taking extra care you're gonna keep neutral spine as we slide back three times into our child's pose if your spine is nice and healthy, go ahead and add a cat or a cow. So when you're ready, on your exhale, go to child's pose, via cat pose or not. On your inhale, with cow or without, come to hands and knees. Let that repeat. And one more time. So you might choose to go back to child's pose to rest, or you might slide those legs over, carefully come on down, take your time. Maybe when you lay down, you want your knees bent. Maybe you want uh, your legs long. Give yourself this bit of self-care. It is not selfish to give self-care. Relax into the legs. Relax into the hips. 
Relax your belly. Good. Relax the shoulders and the arms. Maybe close your eyes. And let's pause again together and breathe. As we relax, we gently remind ourselves it is okay to be quiet. It is okay to be still. It is okay to be relaxed. And it is so very okay on the days that this is challenging for us. Let us take our three more breaths here. And then nice and easy, <laughs> let's move our fingers and our toes. Oh, let's move our wrists and our ankles. I can't tell if you can see the dog, but of course she's deciding to like lick her thigh now because, you know, she's on TV. Why not? All right, and when you're ready, bend your knees. You might be happy just feet on the floor, or you might want to hug a in. Totally up to you. And then let's carefully roll to one side or the other. We're going to pause on our side, so maybe tuck your arm under your head and let yourself rest there. And then nice and easy, let's stretch out that top leg and push up with the hands. And we're going to sit together for a moment. So maybe you add your blanket back in, maybe not. If you can sit cross-legged, go right ahead. If you need bound angle or that butterfly pose or you need a leg out, do that. If you prefer to sit on your shins, do that. Take this moment and find your seat. Good. Roll your shoulders down and back. Tuck your chin. Pause and breathe. Hands wherever they're comfortable, eyes opened or closed. Gently bring one ear towards one shoulder. Yep, just tilt the head. And then bring the head center. Tilt the head the other way. Bring the head center. And then chin to the chest. If you would like, add those hands in prayer pose with the heart, surrendering the head to the heart, our internal teacher. And carefully, we can lift the head and gently open the eyes. And I thank you so very much for sharing your yoga journey with me. Thank you and namaste. Thank you so much. Let us know you're watching. Give us a love. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. Come and see us at the studio when it's back to yoga school. Our classes start on September 4th. All right, but I'll see you next Monday for a little yo Monday morning yoga minutes. Thanks.